What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are bringing you guys another Series 2 team, but this time rocking out with Iron Thorns and a few off-meta Pokemon such as Gengar. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, we're closing in on 20,000 subscribers. That blows my mind. Huge shout out to everyone who is a subscriber to the channel. But like I said, we got Gengar in today's video, and everybody loves Gengar. Then we're also using my favorite Paradox Pokemon, Iron Thorns, who we are going to be getting started with with today's team preview with. Iron Thorns got Cork Drive and Booster Energy as its item and ability. Rock and Dragon Dance, Rock Slide, Wild Charge, which is both of its stab moves, and a Terror Blast for its final move. Second Pokemon is going to be Torkoal. Torkoal is phenomenal in Series 2, especially with the Paradox Pokemon, and straight up for weather control. It's got Drought and Charcoal as its item and ability, Eruption, Flamethrower, Earth Power, and Protect. Gengar is going to be our third Pokemon, and Gengar seems really solid with this moveset. It has Imprison and Trick Him so we can counter Trick Him teams easily. It has Icy Wind for Speed Control, and then it also has Haze to counter down Dozo teams or any teams that have a Pokemon that is just bulking up. It has Cursed Body, the Focus Sash has an item, and it's just it's just a solid Pokemon, I feel like, for Series 2. I really do like it. Hydreigon's going to be our fourth Pokemon. Hydreigon, you haven't been seeing too much of it in Series 2, considering there are a few better Pokemon now that Paradox Pokemon are released. You got Fluttermane, you got Roar Moon, who is a better uh, Dark type than it. So, Hydreigon, you're seeing a little bit less uses, but still very solid. This one has Levitate, Life Orb as an item, Dark Pulse, Flash Cannon, Tailwind for Speed Control, and then it's got Draco Meteor for heavy stab damage. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Torkoal's best buddy. It is going to be Logan over here. And Logan is crazy strong with Torkoal on its side. Logan can go with an after you, make Torkoal go first. It can put Pokemon to sleep. It has Sleep Storm for big damage. Then it also has Protect. It's got Chlorophyll, Double Speed and Sun, and then the Wide Lens to make it Sleep Powder land most of the time. Final Pokemon is going to be Great Tusk, our second Paradox Pokemon on the team. And Great Tusk has been top tier in Series 2. Every time I use it, it is always out bulking Pokemon. It is always doing some crazy damage and picking up some big time KOs. This one has Protosynthesis, Assault Vest as item, Headlong Rush, Close Combat, Earthquake, and Rock Slide Force moveset. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Gengar and Iron Thorns team. First match coming at you guys, and if you cannot tell, my voice is a little scratchy. I'm a little sick. Actually, I feel like I'm starting to get sick, and it's going to be a bad one. So if I do not upload, that is why. That is why. I feel like I have a strep throat coming and it just feels terrible. I was able to get up out of bed today, record for you guys, so hopefully you guys do enjoy it. But we're going up against a Deli Bird team, or I should say Iron Bundle team, with Annihilate Mouse Hole, which is a very strong combo. Great Tusk, Arcanine, and Fluttermane. How am I playing this one? Who am I going into? Special attackers are going to be solid, considering he does have Intimidate, so I might just go straight Torkoal and Lilligan. That seems pretty good, doesn't it? It seems very solid for us, so I might end up leading that. After you and just Eruptions? It seems perfect. It seems great. I mean, Arcanine might get the lead, but other than that, I'm with it. I'm with it. Let's go Lilligant. Let's go Torkoal. Uh, we do want Iron Thorns here. I do like Iron Thorns once we get rid of a few Pokemon. And then last but not least, either Hydreigon or Great Tusk. And who do I want to go into from here? Both of them are going to be weak to the Fluttermane. But I have Terror type Ground for you, right? No Fire, which isn't bad at all. And what's your Terror type? And you're steel. Okay, so again, two great terror types here. Who do I want? I'm kind of leaning a bit towards Hydreigon here. Considering it is special attacking. Actually, you know what? No, we want we want we want the tusk. We want the tusk. It's gonna be able to outbulk a lot, plus it's super effective onto the uh onto the what's it called? The Arcanine. Which Arcanine is obviously always a problem. It's really bulky. It's always good to have a Pokemon that can just one tap in no problem. But we're gonna see who they end up leading. Because I'm thinking just going after you. Terrastalize in the fire and just pop an eruption? It seems like the best bet, right? And he goes in with these two. Seems like the best bet. Or do I just put Arcanine to sleep and just pop a heat wave? That, that is an option as well. That is also an option. Prosynthesis is going to pop. Let's find speed is heightened and. And you have to focus that. No, you have to. I could put Arcanine to sleep. Which wouldn't be bad. Oh, I only have Flamethrower and Eruption. That kind of hurts. Do I just Erupt? I'm thinking just Erupt it. Makes the most sense. I'm going to air for you and Erupt. You should be faster than that Fluttermane. Let me see your speed, Logan. Let me see your lovely little speed. Where you at? 156 Chlorophyll Double. Yeah, you should be faster. I could put somebody to sleep here. 
I think I'm actually gonna do that instead. I think I'm just gonna throw the Fluttermane to sleep. I think that's my play all day. So sleep powder can come out here. We're not even gonna do that after you. We're just gonna outspeed, put this thing to sleep. Seems like a better play all around. And Arcanine probably takes out my Logan, but it's all good. It's all good. If Logan goes down here, I'm fine with that because we're doing some crazy damage to the Fluttermane and we're going from there. Late Flare Blitz, he takes out my Logan, no problem. I feel like that was a W turn. I feel like that was a W turn, considering where you have a full health eruption coming out here. Full health. Going to take out the Fluttermane, unless it's Sash, and doing some nice big damage on Arcanine. Wow, actually doesn't even bring anything down to Sash. Barry comes out here, another eruption takes out both of them. And now I can bring out a Pokemon such as Hydreigon. Or no, not Hydreigon, such as Iron Thorns, and maybe set up a D-Dance here. Do I D-Dance here? I think I might want to D-Dance here. I think that's my play, yeah. Let's go in here, pop a nice little Dragon Dance, and we'll go from there. Like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Mark and I could go for the burn, which could suck. Mark and I could go for the burn. Do I protect this turn? No, I gotta erupt. I gotta go for eruption. And I just gotta go for That's my play all day. And I can always terrestrialize. Wait, yeah, I'm gonna go for Dragon Dance. I think the will o -Wisp is going to come in here, which is a little scary, but I'm just gonna hope it doesn't. No, he ends up withdrawing Arcanine. Even better. Even better. Even better. And he's gonna throw out here because Fluttermane should be asleep. Hopefully, we have quick naps. And he's gonna throw out you. And of course, of course, you wake up. Of course, you wake up. That hurts. That hurts right there. Of course, you wake up. Can Eruption still KO? It should still KO. And Dragon Dance is flying out here. That's a solid turn from, uh, from us. Of course, I think it's one turn sleep. Whenever I'm asleep, I'm asleep three turns. M the, the maximum amount of turns. All the time. This thing wakes up instantly. And now my er eruption only does a little bit of damage over onto that Annihilate. Hurts the soul. And now he's going to bring back out Arcanine. We know Arcanine is coming back out. We already know Arcanine is coming back out here. But I have a speed boost, which is solid. Okay. And I could Tarasa isn't flying. Could be the play. Could definitely be the play. Which I'm leaning towards, right? Right? It's got to be Arcanine coming out here. The so Arcanine does come out here. I do have Earth Power to pick up the KO. I do have Earth Power, which I'm going to throw in that slot. And I'm thinking of just Terrasalizing. And potentially going for a Terra Blast here. But yeah, Earth Power there, and then just Terra. I could go Rock Slide, but I think just think Terra Slides and going after Annihilate is my play all day. So I'm back even on the attack. I'm even on attack. I'm plus one speed. I should be able to outspeed all these guys right here. And Terra Blast should be able to do a nice chunk of damage, but probably not pick up the KO. Unless he's Terra Slides, but I'm Terra Slides. So Iron Thorns out and about here. That sucks, man. I should have a Torkoal full health, and I should have that Annihilate below half health right now. God dang, Flutter me waking up instantly. My Pokemon are always in hibernation. Always in hibernation. So if he ends up protecting the Arcanine, I don't mind that. I do not mind that. I don't mind that. So Terra Blast is able to fly out here. We know we outspeed this thing. And I wonder what move he's going to go for. And Terra Blast just KOs. Awesome. Sick. Iron Thorns getting after it. I love it. I love it, Iron Thorns. So we got rid of the Fluttermane. We got rid of Annihilate. Two very strong Pokemon that I was worried about. And now he's just left with Arcanine. And I have Great Tusk. He's Arcanine and whatever Pokemon he's going to throw out. And I have Great Tusk, which is huge for us. Which is huge. Final Pokemon is going to be Great Tusk of its own. And I could definitely see a Terra coming out here, right? I could definitely see a Terra. I can definitely see a turn. I mean, I'm going to Earth Power. Nope, not you. I want to Earth Power you, and then I want to go into... Do I just Terra again? He can't hit me with EQ, which is huge. He cannot hit me with EQ, which is huge. And I'm thinking of just straight Terra Blasting this thing. Even though he's going to Terrasalize. But just in case he doesn't, let's throw it in that slot. Yep, there's Terrasalize. Probably going in the ground. I mean, I don't mind it. Better than using a wild charge in that thing, because wild charge is nothing. And yeah, he's straight up terrors in the ground. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. And the best part about terroring Iron Thorns in the uh, flying is I can freely EQ with my with my ancient tusk or great tusk without dealing damage to it. So we chunk up some nice damage to that thing. Flare Blitz is gonna fly over onto you. And oh wow, that did a bit bit too much damage there. You take mean recoil damage. Great tusk, what are you going for? A headlong rush, and you are just taking out my you're just taking, yeah, you're just taking him out. Okay. I can deal with that. Your defense drops. And I can bring out my Tusk. Okay. So, we're hoping no... 
East Speed is on that Arcanine, but I don't think it has it. I really don't. I really don't. Well, we have the Tusk out here. Obviously, I just want to go straight into EQs. It's my best play. And we'll go from there. And great Tusk's Pro Synthesis. That's huge. So we're just going to go into an EQ here. Send it, and I could Rock Slide if I want to, but... Actually, Rock Slide could be the play, just to KO the Arcanine real quick. And maybe try to get a flinch. But I think Tusk outspeeds the Arcanine. Let me see your speed real quick, Tusk. Let me see you. 139, you actually might not. Are you maxed out? Because that, that Tusk is outspeeding. No, screw it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do what, exactly what we did. Terror Blast into a lovely, oh, he ends up protecting, but into a lovely little EQ. And his defense is down. I should be able to win this match. I should be able to win this match. So he ends up protecting here. And do you go first? No, he goes first. If Flare Blitz is going to take me out, he's going to take himself out with recoil damage. If not, EQ picks it up. And it turns into a 1v1 situation. My attack is maxed out due to Sun, but I think the Sun's about to end, actually. And then he is minus on defense from using that headlong rush. Okay. I still th I still think we win this match. I still think we win this match. Actually, he has... Ooh, this terror. And he outspeeds us. I think he outspeeds us, for sure. But again, we should be able to soak up whatever he has to offer. I'm terrified. I'm terrified because a headlong rush can do some big time damage. Her synthesis is gone. That kind of works out big because he is going to go first. And from here, it's one or the other, right? It's one or the other. I'm dropping my defense either way. Both the same move, different typing. Let's rock it to a headlong rush just because it looks a lot cooler. So we're going to go for a headlong rush. Look to KO right here right now. He goes for his own headlong rush. It's going to be minus two on defense. So as long as we eat us up, we win this game. Awesome. Beautiful. Does half health. He's minus two on defense stages. It's game, set, match. It is game, set, match. Headlong rush comes in here. See you later. 1-0 to get this video started. What a set of matches or what a set of battles to get this video started. Second match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a really cool team. Iron Moth, Raichu, Corviknight, Cerulead, Screamtail, and last but not least, Garchomp. I really don't think they pop Trick Room with Screamtail. I feel like that Screamtail is really there just to counter Trick Room. So I, I just don't believe they're going to be bringing in the Jigglypuff. But I do think Raichu is going to be, be a lead. He has to fake out with that. Um, but who should we go into here? Considering he's probably going to fake out with the Raichu, get a lead off with that. I do like Tusk here. Tusk has super effective moves up against a bunch of different Pokemon here. And, hmm. Do I want to lead him? Do I want to lead the Tusk? It's going to be tough because one Pokemon is getting faked out here. One Pokemon is definitely getting faked out. Like I said, Raichu is obviously going to be the lead. No doubt about it. I might even go Gengar here for a lead. I might even go Gengar. I can Icy win across the board, take off Sash, slow down a little bit. Plus, we haven't used this Pokemon yet. So, I'm going to go Gengar. I am going to go in with the Pokemon. Mm. I was going to say like Torkoal here. But nah, I don't think Torkoal's going to be good here. Hmm. I'm going with you. I get down. I get down with Iron Thorns. So I'm going to go Gengar, Iron Thorns. I am going to bring in Tusk. And last but not least, I am going to go Hydreigon. I think the problem with this team right here is not a lot of protects on it. I would love to protect, but none of my Parallax Pokemon have protect. None of Hydreigon or Hydreigon doesn't have protect. Kind of sucks because I want to lead the Gengar. He can't be faked out and then protect the other one. Kind of go from there, but hopefully they'll just be like, he's going to protect and try to read it. And I just straight up attack and get off some big damage. We shall see. We shall see. But the second match, we're 1-0. Oh, feeling pretty good. And he ends up leading the Screamtail. Screamtail does come out here. Okay. Okay, Screamtail. I see you. I see you, Screamtail. Booster Energy is coming out here. We're going to boost our attack set. And we'll get rolling from here. Gengar is definitely fast on the field. And do I imprison Trick Room? I can always just Icy Wind and uh, Trick Room the next turn if I want to. I think I just drop a Rock Slide, right? Look for some flinches. I'm with it. Let's see if he Terrasalizes. I feel like Terrasalize could definitely come out here for this Rule Edge slot. But it's weird to see Screamtail because I was not expecting Screamtail to come out here. So hopefully Screamtail is just like doing its thing. Maybe going to throw a play rough or something. I'm just hoping it's not popping Trick Room. I could have imprisoned it, but I just, I just don't believe our opponent has the moxie to uh, drop a trick room this turn. So we're going to end up seeing a terrestrialization probably from the Cerule Edge, right? In the grass. Correct. Cerule Edge, grass. 
yeah, Cerule Edge goes into grass. Icy Wind is going to be super effective onto it now, which is pretty solid. Maybe we can pick up some flinches. I can take that all day. If Shadow Sneak comes out, that's fine. We have Sash. And are you going for Trick or Miss? Real question. And we disable Shadow Sneak. That's big time. That's a big move to actually uh, disable. Can we go for the Icy Wind? Chipping up some nice damage. Speed is dropping. We're hoping no Trick Room, right? Can't be going for Trick Room. Rockside coming out here. Picking up some nice damage on this village, actually. Weak armor coming out here. He has no first turn priority. No question is, are you going for Trick Room? No, he goes for the Gleam. Cool. So they make the right call. Say he doesn't go in the Trick Room. And now he doesn't have first turn priority, which is amazing. We disabled the Shadow Sneak. We can go from there. And both these Pokemon are minus one. So I really want to go into something that can KO the, uh, the Jigglypuff. Which would be you. Which would be you all day. All day. I could Terrasize, but I don't think there's a there's a need to Terrasize here. I just think we Rock Slide and then we go into a uh, a Flash Can here. It seems pretty simple, right? It seems really simple. Not going to overthink. Because I was thinking maybe I should Dragon Dance. Maybe I should do something. But again, we're not going to overthink this turn. There's no need to overthink this turn. So he ends up protecting that uh, Cerule Edge. Flash Can can come out of here. Almost pick up the KO, but we are doubling down with Rock Slide. Rock Slide's gonna come out here. Say no problem. Take out the Jiggly, right? You better land. You better land. You better land. You better land. What, do, what more do you guys want from me? I, I, what more do you guys want from me? That is just, that is just atrocious right there. That is just, oh, that's ugly. That's real ugly. That is that is so ugly. That is so ugly. That is just oh that's that's ugly, man. That is ugly. That is definition of ugly. We're gonna go for the double rock rock slide. Actually, we're just gonna drag it at you. Cause I outspeed. I outspeed. So if Rock Slide can land like it's supposed to do, we can pick up the double KO and get off a of dragon dance. But man, I should have Hydreigon full HP. I should have Hydreigon full HP. I should have Iron Thorns. More HP than this. It's just awful. And Cerule Edge is outspeeding me. Which is terrible. You're minus one. Are you choice or something? And this is terrible. Great Tusk Rock Slides here. Why is it outspeeding me? That's a real question. Oh, I boosted speed. I boosted speed with weak armor. That's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. It's all good. Okay, we pick up the double KO. I'm D-dancing right now. I am D-dancing. I'm D dancing, so I should be able to outspeed whatever's on the field, but we are sitting in such a tough spot right now. This is a terrible spot we're sitting in. Hmm. I wonder what, what, what their last two Pokemon's gonna be. It's gonna be Iron Moth and. and Garchomp. Kinda sucks because they both outspeed us. Well, we won't outspeed my Iron Thorn. I definitely want to go for the EQ. And I'm going to Terrasilize. I could go for Rock Slide if I want to. Exactly what I'm going to do. Maybe we get off a of flinch. Maybe he'll Terrasilize in a straight ground. Go from there, but... Mm. Actually, you can't Terrasilize. You already did. This is tough, man. Because if I had Hydreigon, this would be beautiful. This would be beautiful. This would be amazing. I could Terrasilize him in the Steel and just straight up... Straight up dumped on this Garchomp. No problem. Rock Slide comes out here. KO in the Iron Moth, no problem. Can we get the flinch on the Garchomp? Make up a little bit of ground here. Can we get the flinch on the Garchomp? We kind of need it here. Kind of need it here. No, but it goes for a stop and cantrum into my Iron Thorns. That's big time. That is big time, and I think that just picked us up the win. I think that just picked us up the win. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine. So now we can EQ freely. Actually, I'd rather headlong rush this thing. There's more damage. And from here, I can go straight into a Terror Blast would do the most damage because Wild Charge doesn't affect it. Rock Slide doesn't do too much. Yeah, Terror Blast. And uh, yeah, we end up getting ripped on in the beginning, but make it a nice little comeback. Make it a nice little comeback. Rock Slide miss definitely did me dirty. Made this match a little bit harder, but I got you guys. I got you guys. 2 0 for today's video. Let's hop into our third and final battle. Look for a perfect record. Right now, we're killing it, ladies and gentlemen. 2 0 going up against a Don Dozo and Tasugiri team for the final match. And I'm thinking we gotta bring Gengar here, right? Gengar is an absolute must. I like Gengar here too. 
So now we have Haze, we counter up the Dandozo combo. So I'm gonna be bringing Gengar in the back end, but who should I lead? And how should I get after this one? I'm thinking Great Tusk is very solid, super effective onto a lot of different Pokemon. So I really do want the Great Tusk here. I'm gonna end up leading the Great Tusk, and I think Hydreigon and Great Tusk are going to be a great combo here. Or I could bring it in with Iron Thorns, but Fluttermane just seems to be a problem, right? Fluttermane just seems to be a problem. It seems like it could just rip into my Hydreigon. I could just go from there. So I don't know if I want to lead Hydreigon with it. Iron Thorns might be a little bit better. So I might just do that. I might just do that. Or I can go Lilligant Torkoal, which I like, and then go Great Tusk and yeah, yeah, yeah. that sounds a lot better. So Lilligant Torkoal, Great Tusk, and then Gengar. That seems like the best bet for the third and final battle. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. But yeah, this one seems like we should be able to win it, but I don't know. I feel like Fluttermane's going to be a huge problem. Fluttermane might be a problem. Might be a big time problem. So let's see who they end up leading. It's got to be Fluttermane, right? You've got to be leading the Flux, right? No, okay, Glamora. Wow. Great Tusk would have ripped here. Great Tusk would have been an absolute unit here. Um, okay. I could put Iron Moth to sleep if I want to. He's going to Quirk Drive here. Earth Power can do some crazy damage onto that. So much as Earth Power. Trying to do something to you. And then I believe you're... Come here. I believe Glamora's part of Grass, right? No, it's Rock and Poison, so I could put Glamora to sleep, which I'm kind of leaning towards. There's Earth Power. In. No, I don't want to Earth Power you. I'd rather Earth Power you because it's four times super effective. And then just throw a Sleep Powder onto Glamora. Put this Pokemon to sleep. Then get after that way. Awesome. The Glamora, Night Night. Night Night Glamora. Let's see what Iron Moth's going for an Overheat. Did we dodge that? I like a little bit of RNG on my side. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. We dodged the overheat. That's big time. I'm surprised he didn't hit me with a heat wave. Earth power gonna come out here. KO. Oh yeah, no problem. Four times super effective. Get it on out of here. I did not mind if a uh, Logan went down there. I feel like he got off a lot of value with the sleep powder. Allowed Torkoal to hit with a uh, full HP. And now I can legit, I think I can sweep this battle. I can after you and just start ripping eruptions. Seems like to play, right? Never mind, it's not to play. I do have Leaf Storm though. I do have Leaf Storm and I feel like from here, You know, I'll stay in just in, just in case. I'm gonna erupt, but just in case the uh, I was gonna swap just in case he wants to swap into Tatsugiri, but it's not that big of a deal. I say we just attack. Now he protects. He has a protect, and that's exactly why I stayed in. Because if I swapped there, then he would have got him free turn. Okay, I'm cool with that. Lamore, if you wake up here, I'm gonna cry. I have a feeling it's gonna wake up. Don't wake up. Okay, cool. Finally, we're getting, a, we're getting a little bit of value out of our sleeps. We're getting a little bit of value out of our sleeps. Your option's going to pop off here. It should be able to do a nice little chunk to uh, Glamora, which is solid. Oh, that's a nice chunk. That is a nice chunk. And now I could after you this. I could definitely after you this, but I am just going to go in with that. And I could put him to sleep, but I'm not I'm not a coward. I'm just going to go in with Leaf Storm. I'm just going to go in with Leaf Storm. So I have the Gengar in the back end, the Haze that thing with the Focus Ash. Gonna be a big time for us. And then my final Pokemon, who did I bring? Was it Tusk? It was Tusk. So I gotta save my... My Terra's not too good for that thing. Terra is not too good. But I need to get off a Leaf Storm here. I need to get off some big time damage. And he allows me to. He doesn't swap. And we KO. Oh my lord. That was the worst play I've ever seen. The worst play. Considering you just saw me going after with Leaf Storm. This thing's still asleep. We're gonna sweep. It's game set match. You have you have to have Tatsugiri in the back end. I think that's a, that would be the only reason he made that play. Which it would make sense then if he doesn't have the ta Tatsugiri, right? He just brought Don Dozo in on its own. But if this Tatsugiri, that was the worst play you could have possibly made. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, this this looks like it's gonna be a sweep from Torko and Logan. Battle number three is going to go to us, and we're gonna grab ourselves a perfect record, which is amazing. Let's see, because I can after you the shot, I could Terrasalize if I want to. But this has got to be the Tatsugiri, right? I'm surprised you did not swap that Glamora out. I'm super surprised at that. But again, we had the counter anyway. I feel like we had this match on lock. It was pretty much GG's. But I think our opponents have a little trouble picking their last Pokemon. It's been communicating for a little bit. Did they quit? They quit? No, it's coming out here now. Is it the Gummy? It is the Gummy. That was the worst play they could have possibly made. The worst play. 
Obviously, I want to erupt here. I could go for eruption, but I'm just going to leaf storm. I'm just going to leaf storm. Battle was canceled. Perfect sweep for match number three. We grab ourselves a perfect record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Another 3-0 perfect record on the channel. I absolutely love this team. We got to showcase Gengar and Iron Thorns, two off-meta Pokemon that really shined in today's video. They did really well all around. We didn't get Gengar out in that third and final battle, but still. Gengar, we knew, was going to counter Don Dozo and get after the match that way. But Torkoal Logan, obviously that combo is mwah, amazing. Too strong for this game right now. And then Hydreigon Great Tusk did a lot of the heavy lifting, picking up some big-time KOs for us. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.